Hi everyone. Welcome to Across the Desk with Kit Fairchild. I kind of envision this show being a variety in type. Um, current events mostly about local issues in the Oklahoma City area, Oklahoma State. Um, we will cover maybe national and world issues. This is a current event show. Um, I wouldn't mind covering cultural things like uh, there's a play in town and the director and some of the actors want to have an interview. I wouldn't mind um, having an episode about that and play it for you to bland. Um, even if a band has a CD or anything like that. Um, informational as well, you know, instructional maybe um, as I come across certain items. Um, pretty much uh, these are going to be 10 minute segments long, just long enough I think. And uh, that's basically what I have entailed for this. Um, this is our first episode, and for our first episode across the desk, I have Facebook's community standards. Um, interesting backstory on this. My account is in Facebook jail. Well, I got some uh, messages today, I guess notifications, and uh, saying that they flagged some items of mine that I posted and I thought it was strange so I had to look it up and these were items that were pretty old and I have a whole segment on it um, you ought to check it out uh, and here give it a watch hi everyone I got an interesting thing today Facebook sent me notifications that something I posted has been flagged. Now, there are really four really weird instances about this. Number one is, I've been in Facebook jail for eight days and haven't been able to post anything. Number two, this pic that I've been flagged for six times right here. This is a pic of Mr. Trump making America great again. Anyway, I was flagged for that six times today, and the funny thing is, number two, is this is an old pic. I posted it, the first instance was in 2015. The last instance was in 2017. So this is a pic that I posted between four and a half and two and a half years ago. That's how old these posts are. I was flagged for today. That's the second weird thing. Now, the number three weird thing that I found out about this is, hey, how the heck does one search for a pic or a meme that you posted and get it every time you posted it and where you posted it? I have not been able to find out how to do that. I'm not sure how to do that. Hey, I want to find out every time Brian Jones posted this certain meme. How do you do that? I haven't been able to Google it or anything, so that makes me think... That's kind of weird. Who's doing that? <laughs> Someone at Facebook? I don't know. Um, but it's really weird. And if someone's doing it, wow, they got an awful lot of time on their hands. And I'm living a lot of rent-free space in their head. Anyway, but that's the third weird deal, is how the heck do you do that? Number fourth, and this is the really wild thing about it, is community standards of Facebook. As you can see, this first one I sent in here, it's still in review. We're reviewing it. We haven't gotten to it yet. But hey, here's another instance where I sent it, and we got this nice little thing back where I put it in review. They come back, hey, your post is back on Facebook. No way. We're sorry we got this wrong. We reviewed your post again, and it does follow our community standards. Well, what do you know? They put it back on. Here we go. Here's another one that they re that they flagged and they came back and said your post is back on Facebook. Really doesn't go against our standards. We can put it back on. And then lo and behold, whoa, 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 what? Wait, whoa, 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 what's this one? Wait a minute. Case closed about your post. We're reviewing the post. Wait a minute. We confirmed your post didn't follow the community standards. You've got to be kidding me. Really? Wait a minute, we got two instances here where it says your post is back on Facebook. It does follow the standards. And here we go, here we go. 
First one, we confirmed it didn't follow your standards. Hey, here we go. And then almost immediately next, we got another one that says your post is back on Facebook. You gotta be kidding me. So here we got another one. Wait a minute. Here we go about your post. We're reviewing the post. We confirmed it didn't follow community standards. I, so I've got two here that say it doesn't follow standards and I've got three here that say it does with one more in review. So, so far I've got three to two from Facebook community standards team that this go, it follows the standards. Three, two say it doesn't. So I just wanted to pick out and point out the uh, schizophrenia of Facebook's community standards. It's like they don't really have standards. They just kind of go with whatever they want. And that's kind of how Facebook operates. I don't know if you've noticed, but you can flag somebody for a post and they'll come back, that doesn't follow our standards. We remove their post. And you can flag someone for the exact same phrase and they'll come back and say, mm, that follows the standards. You just need to look them over again. Well, this is proof positive that they really don't care. And that's what it is. So this is, I wanted to point this out because you got four really crazy things going on with this. One, I'm in Facebook jail for eight days and not able to post. Two, eight days after that, I start getting these notifications that this pick goes against the standards. And it's an old pick. So that's the old thing. The whole thing is this picture, yeah, it's from 2005 to 217 that I posted it. And here we are, November 2019, almost 2020. That is a long time to be sitting out on Facebook for them to just flag it now. And here you go. Next thing, how the heck do you search for a pic or a meme someone posted six times? How do you do that? I don't know how. Somebody tell me. Anyway, and then there's just number four and the icing on the cake. The schizophrenia of Facebook public standards, community standards, where your post can get back online for the same thing. And it can be removed. So, somebody... Yeah, that's just how Facebook operates. You're not going to get a straight answer from them. Look, I get it. They're a private company. They're out there making money. They sell your data. That's what they do. What you post and everything else, they could care less. And it, But, you know what? If it's going to disrupt their revenue stream somehow, some way, well, you know what? They're going to flag it however they want. So, just let you know. Facebook community standards is a bunch of baloney. Um, they, it's no standard. If it was a standard, they'd have a set way of doing things. Anyway, those are the four things I wanted to point out. Facebook jail, eight days. The pic is old. Shared, posted from two and a half to up to five years ago. How the heck do you search it six times and flag it and... The schizophrenia of Facebook public, their community standards. So there you go, people. I hope you've enjoyed our first episode of Across the Desk with Kit Fairchild. Next week's episode, I set up a sawing class sloop from beginning to end. I have one out in my front yard, and I've noticed that on YouTube there just really isn't a whole lot on instructional videos on setting up a sailboat. Now, there's a couple, and some of them are alright, but I'd really like to put together a piece that goes from setting it up from beginning to end, and a sawing class, which is basically an Omega class, is a dinghy. So it's a small boat, and it's perfect for an instructional video, so I hope you'll enjoy that next week. I think people get a good lot out of it. Thank you.